All right, now with One UI 6.0 beta, Samsung has added a brand new feature or a brand new application called Studio, which offers an advanced video editing feature for Galaxy S23 series. Now this particular application or this feature is currently available on One UI 6.0 beta only, and it is not available on any other predecessors of Samsung Galaxy phones. In this video, let me elaborate how exactly this feature works. Let's take a look at a quick demo. Now this feature is offered in the form of an application. Now when you go to the finder and search for studio you will be able to see this app but what's surprising is when i press and hold on this application and tap on this information icon uh, and go to the app details in store we don't get to see this application in store it just crashes and we do not have that application showing up on the galaxy store that is something strange i'm not sure whether this is an application or this is a feature integrated inside the one ui 6.0 we are going to find out very soon but for now this app is not showing up on the galaxy store however it is available on the system for video editing now if you look at the change log under studio samsung says studio is a new project-based video editor allowing for more complex and powerful editing you can save unfinished projects and continue editing later you can view your entire project as a timeline containing multiple video clips the multi-layered structure lets you add clips stickers and other objects and adjust their position and length easily now this is what is mentioned in the change log now what we're going to do is let's open this particular application or this feature and let's see how exactly this works now let me uh, go to the finder and uh, open this application now, as you can see, uh, I have already uh, edited a couple of uh, videos and images which are already saved right here as projects. It is movie one and movie two. Uh, now, this is how the projects will be saved. Now, let me tap on start new project. It is going to take you to the gallery application from where we can add images and videos. Now, let me select a couple of video clips and a few images here. I'll tap on done. You can see we have got the uh, timeline right here where we can see all those images and video files that have just added. We've got a very simple interface here. You can see the video clip right here on the top and uh, I can add more clips if I want. I can just tap on this plus button to uh, add a blank clip or image or video from gallery. I can add it right here. Now at the bottom, you can see we've got text options. We can tap on it to add some text with fonts and alignment options we have got. Let me go back. We've got uh, stickers option. You will be able to add any of these stickers from here. We've got multiple options. There are a bunch of stickers available here. We can also select these stickers from the gallery here. Let me go back. The next option is music. You can tap on this music icon to add music and soundtrack. Now here we have got this icon to zoom into the video clip or the content and we can play back right here by tapping on this icon here. Now let me just go back. Now let me tell you how exactly you can edit these video files here. Uh, to select a particular clip, you need to tap on this timeline. Now you can see it has been selected. Now if you want to shrink this timeline or this particular video clip, you can use your two fingers to shrink it like this. Now wherever you want to cut this clip, you can just tap on this cut option and you can just tap on this uh, particular video clip which you want to remove or if you want to shrink it, you can do that. I will remove this particular area here. I'll tap on delete option. You can see that part which you just selected has been deleted. Now let me select this clip again. Now, if you want to uh, trim this particular clip, I can just use these arrow buttons. Uh, let's say I want to trim it uh, from the left side. I'll tap on this. It is trimmed. And from the right side, I want to trim it. I just want this particular uh, uh, strip. I can tap on this icon. Now this video clip has been trimmed. This is how we cut or trim the video file here. Uh, now let's select the second clip. Now you can see we have got a few images here and I have also got this particular video clip here. Now I'll press and hold on this clip to move it towards the left right next to the first video clip that I've got. I'll just drop it here. You can see it has been moved right here now. Now between this clip, if you want to add any transition, you can tap on this uh, option. You have got few transition options here. You can just select the one you want. Uh, between any video clips or between any files, you will be able to add uh, these transition uh, effects that you want. Now when you select a particular clip here, you can see more editing options right here at the bottom. Uh, we have got an option to crop this particular video clip 
shape and uh, we have got more options here like straighten horizontal and vertical options here we'll be able to just use this uh, slider to change the orientation of this particular clip now uh, we have got this volume button to increase or decrease the volume of this clip then we have got the speed option to increase or decrease the speed of this clip and then we have got these filter options as you can see i can select the filter that i want and the last option is to change the tone of a particular clip or image we have got various options here with the slider uh, which will help us increase or uh, decrease this particular tone. Now these are some editing options we have got right here at the bottom. Now once you're done editing you can just tap on done. Now this particular uh, edited video clip has been saved and if you want to save it as movie you can tap on save movie. If you want to delete it you can delete it right from here. Now let me tap on this three dot button you can see we've got options like rename project, size and format, share movie. Let me tap on size and format. You can see we can create this movie in full HD. And then we've got HEVC format to save space. Or uh, we have got this H.264 format, uh, which is compatible with most of the devices. You can select the one you want. So I would suggest you to uh, keep the full HD resolution. Uh, probably because uh, these clips that I selected are in full HD, it is showing me full HD. Now when we go back, this particular file will be saved right here. If you want to come back on this application and edit the file that you have saved, you can do that. Now uh, you can see this is the movie which I just edited. Now let me close this app and let's come back here. I will again go to studio application. Now you can see this edited uh, file has been saved. I can just tap on it to again start editing this particular project. You can tap on edit to start editing it again. So let me just go back. Let me tap on done and uh, here let me tap on save movie. So the file is about 364 MB you can see. Uh, if I tap on save movie, uh, one and a half uh, minutes of movie clip is getting saved and it seems to be uh, reasonably fast. Maybe if you add more larger video files, this is going to take time. But uh, for a one and a half minute of movie, this seems to be doing fine. But wait, I think there is some issue here. This got stuck right here at 46% and it is not moving at all. Maybe this is in beta, so this is not working that well. Let's wait for a solution. Uh, I'm not sure for what reason uh, this has just stopped here it is not progressing at all let me just cancel it and do this again uh, save movie as you can see now it has started exporting the movie let's see whether this will complete it or not now again it is stuck at 46 percent let's let me wait for a couple of minutes no, it doesn't look like it is moving at all. It is completely stuck over here. I'm not sure what is the reason. Let me uh, do this again with some other video files and images. Maybe because this is in beta, this is not working right now. You let me know whether it is working on your phone or not if you have already installed the beta on your Galaxy S23 series. This is definitely a great feature or great application for video editing. Uh, I'm sure this will work much better than the default video editing application that we have inside the gallery. Uh, and uh, maybe on decks and on bigger screens, this this will be much more useful. In the upcoming video, let me show you how exactly this particular feature can be used on Samsung DeX on a bigger screen. So stay tuned for that video and I'll be posting many more videos about One UI 6.0. All those features which you have not seen or have not explored, you will be able to see that on the channel. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.